Hi, I'm Mike Crandall. At our firm, we specialize in sales, management, and leadership development. Today, I wanna to talk to you about something that maybe you've never heard of, and if you haven't, that's okay. In our world here at Sandler, we call it the dummy curve. Now, that's not meant to be offensive, and that's not meant to be derogatory. It's meant to be a way that we can gather information better and more easily. I want you to think about the concept of beginner's luck. Almost everybody knows somebody that early in their career they had luck. And what happened is they were actually using, without even knowing it, what we call the dummy curve. The dummy curve has three parts to it. What we do when we're an amateur at the very beginning, what we do when we are well educated, and then what we do later on in our career when we're a true professional. What happens is that when we don't know anything, we fill silence with questions. And that's the concept and the purpose of the dummy curve. So think of a brand new salesperson, first week on the job and somebody says, hey, I see this in red, can you get it in blue? If they don't know the answer to that, the natural instinct that most people have inside is to fill the silence with questions. So it sounds like blue's an important color for you. Let me see if that's possible, but is that something that you really care? What color blue? And, and they start a conversation. What happens when we get too much information is that we answer questions too fast. When someone says, hey, I see it in red, can you get it in blue? They go, sure can. Press hard, the third copy is yours, and we make it super awkward and uncomfortable. What the true professional does, what the true professional does is they do what they did at the beginning on purpose. We say it this way, the professional does what they did as a dummy on purpose. So fast forward, somebody that's really well versed gets asked that same question. I see you have it in red, can I get it in blue? We still fill that silence with questions. We call that the dummy curve. The very beginning, people are in the dummy phase, they fill silence with questions. In the middle, they're in the amateur phase where they fill silence with information and answers and dumping stuff. Ultimately, we wanna to get to the professional phase. What I'd encourage you to think about is I want you to think about what you do, what your team does, what the people in your organization do. And if they're in leadership, management, or sales, this is a crucial concept. Even in a job interview, it was interesting. I sat in with a client not too long ago in a job interview and the CEO got asked a question by the candidate. And the CEO immediately answered the question. And I watched the facial expression of the candidate a road, and right then I knew it was over. Had the CEO practiced what he should have done, it would have changed the entire direction and probably saved the candidate, who by the way was an outstanding candidate for the role. I want you to think about what happens in your organization. If you're struggling with this, it's an area that we help a lot of our clients in, and I'd love to visit with you to see if we can help you as well. Once again, my name is Mike Crandall. Look forward to hearing from you soon.